Hey, what are you doing, man? I can see what you're doing there. No, don't type that. No, no, okay? No, I'm watching you. Hello everyone, it's me once again. Today is Friday, my favorite day. And before I pop a bottle of red wine, I would like to make this video so you guys can see. So, I talked about a robot called Freebo, and it's a social robot that is uh, being developed in Korea. I don't know whether they're still developing or not, but it was developed by two universities. One is called Yonsei University, which is very well-known university. I think this is probably second after Seoul University, the capital. And um, then there's this KAIST, which is like, you know, those scientists, uh, students who are really, really clever. They actually collaborated to create this social robot called uh, Freebo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a video clip that is actually available on YouTube and then share my thoughts to see how effective it could be. Um, I don't think it's available for sale, but it's interesting how people come up with uh, suggestions what robot could do in the future. So let's get on with the video clip. So here it goes. Okay, so here it goes. Right, so it's a prototype, it's not a finish, it doesn't look that finished yet, does it? It's like, um, normally people do that. Right, so it detects the sound of an entrance door saying that, oh, your friend just came in, uh, did she or he came back from work? So that's an icebreaker, so you could actually chat to your friend. This is Kakao Talk, by the way, like WhatsApp kind of stuff they use a lot in Korea. So it's like, this friend is like saying, Oh, you came back home? Oh, so you came back home right on time. Well done. I don't know. Oh, right. So you just saw that. It detects a sound of opening the refrigeration door. And then you could do the knock to actually respond back to your friend saying, what are you, what are you eating? So if you do a knock, it's actually saying, I'm curious of what you're doing. So the other robot will respond on the other side saying, your friend is curious. That's what it's doing. So on the chat is saying, I'm going to have dinner. So it's like a, I don't know, for lonely people, would this work? Who do you invite? Would you invite your best friend? I don't know. Oh, right. Okay, so it's actually saying that two of your friends are already home, one is actually watching TV. So it's actually keeping you updated on live feed of what your friends are up to. Wow. So you could detect the sound of the entrance door. Interesting. So that's sending both to um, two different friends. One friend decided to not respond. The other friend clap, which means means you appreciate. It's like a like signal. If you like someone doing some action, the way how you send message to the, through this robot is clap. So the friend is saying, don't work too hard because it sounds like you're going out late for work. There's all these cute cartoons. This is the thing I like about this chat, by the way. By the way, the friends are basically saying that, you know, you're, you're doing a lot of late work. I'm worried about you. So, yeah, it could be a nice, nice thing. You don't really need to call them to let them know. But then again, what's the balance? How much do you filter it out? Because this robot is doing it all the time, even though you're not aware of it. So who would you invite? Who are these friends? Are they friends or family members? Would you invite your mother to this sort of thing? <laughs> Washing machine. Would you want to tell your friends that you... You're, you're for washing clothes? And this is Blue. Watching at his um, laptop and he closes and... Well, I don't know, I mean, it's... 
I don't understand really the logic behind this. Um, so I guess that's the way how it detects the sound. What is he or she up to? Oh, that click sound. Oh, so it automatically detects the um, the light. Next morning. Right. Okay, so Freeboard can't alert you. Okay, I wish Freeboard had that function, by the way. So your mobile phone alerts you. <sighs> oh dear. Is it gonna alert that your friend just had a poop? Is that what it's trying to show? Your friend just had a poop. Oh, okay. So the um, closet. Okay. Oh ho! Oh ho! Your friend opened the closet. Do you think your friend rem remembered to bundle up? So basically, it's trying to. I don't know, really. Right, so basically you can use it to encourage your friend to look after themselves. So that's, that's quite nice, I guess. But I don't know, what is the limit? Who would you invite with this? Do you want your girlfriend to be part of this as well? So I'm thinking like, you just saw that video clip, the latest side of it. Someone went to the toilet and closed the door. Uh, I guess Freebo could also alert your close friend saying Oh ho! Your friend just went in to have number one or number two uh, I don't know, I mean that's that's not on is it? What else? Like, oh ho! Your friend is changing his her, her clothes and it could be turned in a wrong way you, you see what I mean? Let's say some guy or some girl is quite good at flirting or luring into one another to like become friends through Freebo and um, for some sort of like perverted mind this person could almost easily become a stalker um, but what will be the outcome for that will be quite interesting let's say there's a natural stalker would he or she lose interest by knowing too much of the details of your lifestyle or not um, and the biggest concern obviously that everyone's talking about is the privacy. What if someone actually can hack into that system? It would be another scary thing. I know there's no camera, it's purely through um, detecting through the sound of what's going on in the house. Uh, but then again, I just can't imagine on top of my head immediately who would be in my close friend list to let them know that I'm actually having breakfast, lunch, dinner, changing clothes, going to the toilet, uh, coming into the house or going out of the house. I guess you could filter certain things out, washing clothes or opening the closet uh, and etc. It's um interesting uh, suggestion but I don't know. I mean, would you be that desperate to actually have those sort of friends? Would you apply those, these sort of robots for those kids uh, who are suicidal? I mean, it's a social robot for lonely people. That's the purpose of it. But if you are lonely, would, you, would that really help you to overcome the loneliness? I don't know, but the current problem is a lot of people actually going through this stage where they're so lonely in the current society, actually. But would this robot help? And good thing is what I'm trying to say earlier on was they're trying to resolve that problem. People are working on that because that's really important for our society at the moment. So um, yeah, that's about it. What do you think about Freebo? Would you go for it or would you not? Personally, I can't see it happening. Um, it's one of those things, I guess, who would have imagined Facebook would, would become great until now. I know Facebook is losing a lot of its good reputation in some way because of the privacy but I guess it's one of those things we will not know until we try and I'm trying to be very balanced about it but 
I certainly don't want someone to know um, whether I'm going to the toilet or not or opening closet or so on. I don't know, I mean, it's, it's one of those interesting things and one of those things that I wouldn't know until we try out, as I said. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching that video, um, some of my thoughts on it. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts. And um, I hope you have a fantastic Friday, by the way, if, you don't, uh, if you're planning to do something. Have fun, um, and I'll speak to you soon. So all the best. Bye-bye.